I step inside to try to pass his gun, and he just like hold my leg really tight, <coughs> like this. Sometimes even like uh, with the two hands, like that. So I don't want to go to the way that it's going to be easier to be like uh, step up with a single leg. I don't want to keep passing this way. This is I'm gonna just like pull me on top, right? I have my leg inside. I'm gonna go to the way that he has his arm kind of hold him on my leg. Like this. And this way, if he comes to try to get on top, he's gonna face me. I'm gonna be able to kind of push him back. The other way, he's gonna go to my back if I if he try to get on top. So I'm gonna get used to land on top of him without let him move. So what do you mean? Wait on top of him and wait away of him. So this kind of hold him down and this is stopping to him movement. If you want to move me, he's not going to move because my weight is kind of off too. So if I'm holding him, he's not going to move and if it if he try get on, if he try hold me, I'm not gonna let him hold me. So I'm not gonna let him move. I'm gonna hold him, but he's not gonna hold me at the same time. In this position, I can base with my chest. Or I can base with my hand on top of him. I'm gonna just try kind of like a find the balance from the center. And now I'm gonna have to look for to the underhook on his arm. Of course, the arm that is in front of me. I don't want to underhook the other side. Just remember the arm that is in front of you. Stay tight. Just get it strong underhook. What I did, I just fight for. He don't want to give the underhook. I'm going to have just fight for to get this underhook. Oh, but there is no easy way. There's no easy way. There's no like a magical powder that's going to make you open underhook. You understand? So you, we're going to fight for the right stuff. You want on the hook, you're gonna have to fight for. So he he knows I want this on the hook. So I'm gonna have to just go over there and get this on the hook. Once I get this on the hook, I'm gonna just keep the other hand on his back and keep a lot of weight on his head over here. What I do now is like, I don't let him get on top of me because I have this on the hook. At the same time, he can rotate this. At the same time, they are gonna use the other leg to kick my foot out of the half guard. So I got a kick, I'm gonna kick the bottom leg. But if I kick the top one, maybe it's gonna open and lock both of my legs, lock, lock, like this. So just kick the, the bottom leg. And again. So let's do the whole thing. Let's hold it. Get this on the hook. Hold his back and use the to keep the bottle light. And then flat. Hold the head and just get the second shot. Same position. Just hold. I then on top. I have my weight con uh, controlling. And I, I got this on the hook. Once I got this on the hook, all right, now I know he's not going to become, he's not going to try to get on top too strong, right? Because every time he try to get on top, I just bring him back, right? Even if he get on top, he has no control. So he probably is not going to be working too hard to get on top. And you should supposed to be safe. I'm going to free my leg like before, and I'm going to get the gut pass. Once I get the gut pass, he got the underhook back. As soon as he gets this underhook, I drive my weight forward. All right? So he got the underhook. As soon as I pass, he got the underhook. I don't have no underhook. So he wanna turn to me, I push him back. Keep, keep pushing. So look what I'm gonna do now. He's pushing against me and I push against him. But I'm on top, I have much more control than him. He's pushing, I push him back. So I control, I, I stay in the middle. I don't wanna go too much, I wanna get flip over. So just like I stay in the middle. <coughs> I'm gonna wait till he keep coming, keep coming. And I'm gonna release him, I'm gonna release him. 
As soon as he get like complete sideways, I'm gonna pull his arm and just mount on his, on his arm. Mount and control his arm. That's what I try to say. So I'm gonna sit on the other side and walk like a good like an arm back from him. This leg keeps him down, the other leg bend, pull this way and bend on the other way. Pull this side and then on the other side. So you guys are supposed to know that, right? One more time. I pass it down the hook. And he, he takes down the hook off. Can you turn sideways? Make this way. So look, he push him back. I push against him. I don't put my feet close to his leg because maybe he can just trap my leg over there. So my feet's kind of like a close to his head. Close to his head, kind of like he, he turned. So he keep going, he keep going. I pull his arm. He's not exposing his arm. I pull. I pull it. Just walk over here. Pressure, pressure against my, my leg, pressure on one side, my body, pressure on the other side. 